Inside the world of the Tuareg tribe, a culture that defies expectations, hidden amidst the vast sands of the Sahara is a tribe that challenges societal norms and traditions in ways that might surprise you. Known as the Tuareg, or the Blue Men of the Sahara due to the indigo dye from their scarves staining their skin, this nomadic tribe blends an ancient way of life with customs that are strikingly progressive, even revolutionary. A different kind of freedom for women, while many associate traditional Muslim cultures with restrictions, the Tuareg turn this perception on its head. In Tuareg society, women enjoy an unmatched level of sexual and social freedom, before marriage. Tuareg women are free to choose their lovers without fear of judgment. Picture this, a young Tuareg man sneaks his camel to a girl's tent at night, spends the evening with her, and then leaves before sunrise to maintain discretion. If the girl chooses to welcome another suitor the following night, she's free to do so. This openness has an unexpected result. Tuareg women typically marry later, often not until their 20s. And romance plays a big role in this culture. Tuareg men express their feelings through poetry, and women respond with poems of their own. Love here is celebrated with words as much as actions, a society where women hold power. Unlike many patriarchal cultures, Tuareg women maintain significant power. Even after marriage, they own the family's most valuable resources, the tents and the animals. In the harsh Sahara, these assets are everything. When marriages end in divorce, a common occurrence, it's the women who keep the tents, the livestock, and the children. Men, on the other hand, must return to their mother's home, often with nothing but their camels. Divorce isn't seen as a failure but as a fresh start. Families even throw parties to celebrate a woman's return to singlehood. The mother's tent remains the heart of Tuareg life, a sanctuary for everyone to return to when things go wrong, traditions that stand out. The Tuareg way of life is full of intriguing customs. 1. Men wear the veils. While many cultures require women to cover their faces, it's the men of the Tuareg who don the veil. Why? Women are beautiful. We want to see their faces, a Tuareg man explained to photographer Henrietta Butler. 2. Eating rules. Men cannot eat in front of older women, especially their mothers-in-law. This rule is so ingrained that even sharing a meal can feel like navigating a minefield of etiquette. 3. Quiet influence. While men dominate public decision-making, women often act as behind-the-scenes advisors, guiding their sons and husbands with wisdom that shapes the tribe's future, challenges to tradition. In recent years, the Tuareg have faced pressure to conform to modern societal norms. Some younger members of the tribe are adopting Arabic and distancing themselves from traditional Tuareg music, dance, and the freedom enjoyed by women. Still, the Tuareg hold fiercely to their identity. They see their culture as superior, their traditions as timeless, and their way of life as a beacon of pride amidst a changing world. What makes the Tuareg unique? For over a thousand years, this tribe has defied expectations, blending romance, freedom, and respect in ways rarely seen elsewhere. Their story isn't just about survival in one of the world's harshest environments, it's about thriving with a unique and powerful sense of identity. What do you think of the Tuareg's progressive and unconventional way of life? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating stories from around the world.